Hi folks, uh, today I want to share with you my experience with wind deflectors. As you know, some people swear by these things and uh, I wanted to find out for myself, do these things make a difference? As you know, as soon as you hook up a caravan to your car, aerodynamics plays a huge part. So anything you can do to improve your fuel efficiency and save money, or improve your towing experience is a good thing. And supposedly these things do the job. So I wanna show you the two units that I have here. One is an Aero Plus by a company called Purple Line, and it has some advantages. And the other one is a Stealth Deflector. Australian made product, made in Queensland, has some unique features. So let me share with you my experience with these two wind deflectors and which one I prefer. This is the Purple Line uh, Aero Plus product on our car. As you can see, it mounts on your roof rack and we towed our 21 foot caravan from Melbourne to Apollo Bay, which is around 300 k's. 200 is mainly freeway and 100 k's was windy road of around doing 80 kilometers an hour. The results we achieved with this was saving of around two liters per hundred so we saved two liters per hundred k's however the greater benefit was the towing experience the car felt more secure towing the caravan with this wind deflector so is it magic is it real that was my experience this is is a good product however there is a downside when we got to apollo bay we left our caravan in the caravan park we found a challenging driving with this thing on the car without the caravan. It was buffering, it's noisy, and to take it off, to remove it from the car, is quite a task, and it's not something you wanna do, because when you remove it, where would you store it? So I'm gonna repeat the same drive now. We're gonna go back to Apollo Bay next week, and I'm gonna use the Stealth Deflector and see what results we get with that. So here is the Stealth Deflector fitted. And as you can see, it requires two roof bars. Unlike the purple line, it only needs one bar. The two bars allow the Stealth Deflector mechanism to be adjustable. And that's one of the advantages. So I can get a far more aggressive angle to cover the front of my caravan and get hopefully much better wind deflection. As you can see from here, it almost the line of sight from the wind top of the windscreen to the top of the caravan is covered by the stealth deflector i'll probably lift that up a bit more and make it even more aggressive so let's give this a go on the road towing with a wind deflector is definitely a better towing experience i've currently got the stealth deflector and the rig does feel more stable in particular when I'm being passed or passing a large semi I don't tend to experience their wind turbulence as much you know the rig is more stable so now let's see how much fuel we can save we've now arrived there to our destination which is Apollo Bay and one of the ways to tell if your uh, wind deflector is working is you get very few bugs on your van because all the air is being deflected over and above the van so very clean van so something must be working so one of the things about wind deflectors is when you get to your destination and you unhook your caravan you want to go drive around and explore for a few days well this thing gets in the way you don't want that on your car because it'll upset your fuel economy you'll hear it will buffer all sorts of things whereas the stealth deflector has four quick release bolts and it has a pivot and rails and watch this it comes down you now secure it and it's flat and does not interfere with daily driving and if you go home we can lift this thing back up and secure it at an adjustable angle yeah and as you can see the stealth is adjustable i could actually select any angles aggressive versus not so aggressive so let me summarize my results tested on two identical trips first i have the purple line aero plus wind deflector which was a fixed product on a single rail and yes that improved the towing experience however as i mentioned when you get to your destination and you unhook your caravan you don't want the deflector on there when you're driving around so that was a showstopper for me the stealth deflector was much better 
Yes, the towing experience was good. I could set it up on two rails and that means when I get to my destination, forks, quick release locks, and it collapses down and it means your car is usable when you're not towing. However, the fuel results were a little bit different. It's not too scientific, but on the Purple Line Aero Plus, I managed to save just under two liters per hundred was my fuel saving uh, for this regular trip we do to Apollo Bay. Today's trip with the Stealth Deflector, I actually saved a little over two liters. However, the Stealth Deflector is adjustable and I feel that there's more room for me to adjust this thing and go a little bit more aggressive with the angle and I honestly feel I would be able to achieve greater fuel savings. And in this day and age, you know, fuel saving is a good thing. You save money. So in summary, for me, this is the product I'll go with. This is the Stealth Deflector. It is a better product in that is adjustable. So when you've got a big van like I have, off-road van, it's very high, you need to go a much more aggressive angle, which I can do with the Stealth product. The Purple Line product is a fixed angle and you can't do anything about that. So really for me, the winner in this comparison and the best wind deflector for my needs is the Stealth deflector. So Australian made, saves you some money, improves the towing experience. It's gotta be a good thing for us caravanners.